Eduardo, next up, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from our backyard here in Napa Valley, the 2018 Gate Reserve. So I, I think one of the, the greatest things about living in Napa Valley, and it's hard to limit it because there's so many great things about, about living here, but is that um, because we're kind of right here in the epicenter of Cabernet production, we often get to hear about new projects or sort of under the radar projects Absolutely. and are, are, are able to bring them first to our members before they become... You know, and you know, not to known. brag, but our roots being here in Napa and better in, in, the, in the culture, if you will, yes. we get this at first access to all these things. That's right. That That's if you right. come and visit or just read it somewhere or know someone, it doesn't always pan out. But this is a great example. This is a beautiful reserve yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon. You had this over Napa lunch, Valley. right? Yeah, we had okay. lunch at this outstanding place down the street, uh, Angel. Fantastic French little... Um, restaurant and uh, I was having uh, lunch with my friend Trevor and he pulled out this bottle he said listen I sourced it from this incredible sites from throughout Napa as you know there's 16 ABAs or little zones American bit of cultural areas thank you yes <laughs> that's why we need an MW because you definitely <laughs> so you have all these different uh, uh, spice rack or ingredients uh, yeah because they all have different personalities right within absolutely and then and then I like that you said spice rack because it's, it is like that right you can take the personalities of these different um, locations and what happens and when you blend them together oh my god it's just the sum of the parts it's yes. great yeah. way greater than the one individual. So you have a little bit of mountain fruit, how mountain, you have a little bit of Rutherford, which has that pretty um, identifiable, identifiable. Rutherford dust. Thank you. Yes. That, like a dusty quality to it. That's made a lot of wines very famous. Um, also, we reference um, Matt Kearney, mm -hmm. uh, who's a, a pretty fun artist. And in this song, Monty, he refers to Cabernet being an elitist in some way. Uh, having it's to expensive and it is the, they say it's the king of Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon indeed right? and you and can it, spend a lot of money on oh yeah you here. can go over a thousand dollars any given day mm -hmm. but this is a very good example of attaining that quality that repois and richness yeah without having to break the piggy bank I so. love it I love it it's a great discovery absolutely what would you pair this with this I would go um man um you can go simple and you can do like a, a, a charred a pork loin with mm -hmm. a little hoisin glaze. Yeah. And um, I would love a lot of like vegetables with this. A little grilled fennel, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of uh, grilled broccoli, things like that. I like it. So you're thinking barbecue, something off the grill. Totally. Yes. I and mean, why not? If you have the ability to just go outside and open that grill and, and get it going, mm -hmm. by all means. Also, you could do a beautiful stew uh, and just let something simmer overnight. With a little bit of vegetables and such. What would you pair? I mean, I'm going classic steak. <laughs> Why not? Salt, yeah. pepper, This grill. is your steakhouse wine. Done. This is where yes. you're going to sit down at your favorite steakhouse and get a $300 bottle of Cabernet. You're replacing with this outstanding experience. You can go spend so. your money on your girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> Indeed. Cheers. It'll go a long way. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>